Hey guys, it's Ashton Lua here and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up my clicker simulator kit inside of Roblox Studio. So yeah, let's just get into it. So first of all, you want to download the model from the first link in the description of this video. And once you've downloaded it, you want to go to Toolbox inside your game and you'll see Ashton Lewis clicker sim kit. I'm going to add that to your workspace and you should see this folder. Open this up and then you'll see these folders. You can delete this script because you're already watching the tutorial. And replicate storage, obviously you would put the insides inside replicate storage. Same for server script service. So put these scripts inside server script service. Not the folders, but just what's inside the folders. And it's start a UI. Pull our UI. So we can delete all these folders now. And before we play test this we need to do a couple of things um, one of those things is I'm going to go to game settings here and you want to go to security and you want to allow HTTP requests and data stores so make sure these two are enabled and then click save and once you've done that everything should be working apart from the auto clicker which we will fix in a second but as you can see our stuff is working, you can click our rebirths, 100 clicks, so if I eventually got to 100 clicks and there we go, we're on 100 clicks and if I confirm, we get one rebirth we get two times clicks and the required rebirth goes up by 100 and also if we leave and then once it loads, rejoin back our stats should be saved because we enabled data stores that's why you need to enable them otherwise none of your stuff will save as you can see everything has saved so now we want to fix our auto clicker so to do that I'm going to go to start a GUI main GUI and you want to go to clicks frame and you should see auto button and you should see auto script here so if you go in here you want to ignore all of this apart from this string of numbers here. So if we just delete that, and you want to put in the Game Pass ID of your auto clicker. And if you don't know how to get a Game Pass ID, then I'll show you. So once you've made your Game Pass, go to the Game Passes page in your game, and you should see these numbers here. And once you've done that, just copy and then paste it into here and this is your game pass id and now if we leave that script click play and then click auto as you can see we are getting clicks automatically with our auto clicker so that is a game pass and if you know what you're doing you can just make it a normal auto clicker and yeah apart from that it is fully customizable as long as you know the basics of what you're doing, especially with the UI, it's pretty simple to change. And you can also change the speed of the auto clicker. So this time here, this wait, if I made it to two seconds, and then click play, and then click that. Every two seconds, it will give me a click. So it's a lot slower. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial video. If you enjoyed this video or want to see more tutorial videos, then let me know in the comments down below or subscribe to the channel to support me. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.